Let's make America great again. Hello everybody, what's new in your life? It is Igor, Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I learned English on this channel for two years and uh, a bit of much. And uh, guys, today we're gonna learn some English phrases from drug problems of Dave Chappelle stand-up comedy. We will do this together with you. Thank you a lot, by the way, for Jackie. It is our so, like, I don't know how to say it, it is so when... You know, I, I when person so long with you on this channel, like uh, for a year, this girl is watching me. Thank you a lot to her. She's from Kentucky. And if you are, if you want to be this kind of person too, who always uh, watch our content, you can subscribe to us and uh, be in a funny family here. Yes, with Fleck, we will sing this, this uh, stripped, uh, stripped uh, stars together. And uh, let's uh, watch uh, direct problems of uh, Dave Chappelle. Maybe I will understand it, maybe not. By the way, it is uh, John Kennedy is here, he is watching too. Let's, he will be here watching him, or maybe here, let's look. He's watching it in, <laughs> like, <laughs> clickbait. Need to write on the description or on, or on the title, like, f f f K Kennedy. Oh no, it is Bill Clinton, Kennedy. I said Clinton? Kennedy, Kennedy is watching. Yes, okay, let's watch. Have fun. It's too much shit out there to stress you out. This whole world is drug infested, hate infested, drug infested world. Hate drugs. I heard the worst drug story. You know what my friend told me? You know what he's dealing with? His landlord is hooked on crack. That's, that's terrible. Landlord means that uh, like... Ah, he's landlord or he's landlord. Like he's... Uh, it is uh, kind of slavery or what? Landlord, he's landlord. I understood that, that first speech was about that uh, so many, uh, so big amount of drugs and hate happened in life. And right now he will tell the story about his friend, okay? It's pressure. Your landlord's hooked on crack. That means you've got to have the rent. <laughs> he come around, the... I got the rent. It's not even due yet, it's the 10th. Come on, I need it. Let me just get $20 of it now, and then, uh, just give me the rest of the other month. Every couple hours. Hey, look, I'm gonna need some more of the rent. This building's falling apart. Things came up. Comes home early from a party. Landlord's in the crib going through his shit. What are you doing in my house? Ah! Where's the sink? I came to fix it. It's in the kitchen. I thought it was in the drawer. I'll fix it tomorrow when I come for the rent. Okay, my suggestion, my my forecasting, my guess about what he said. I he spoke about like someone will go to your house, landlord, landlord. Uh, are we in medieval or what? And uh, landlord will go to your house, or someone will go to your house and will say to you that you need to give him twenty dollar. And if you will not give some, something, maybe will happen. And uh, this twenty dollars, maybe some in some places. Maybe he spoke about person that uh, need to give some drugs to person or what? I don't understand fully. <laughs> like, uh, like this person who walks, who walks to houses. He wants uh, something more than only dollars. He wants drugs. So. I hate about drugs. I hate when like people my age and older get hooked on crack. I hate that shit. You too hooked on crack. Crack is uh, maybe crack is a synonym of drugs. Maybe. You're too old to be experimenting with the drugs at a certain point. You should be past that. You ain't doing it by a certain point. You just miss it. <laughs> drugs are really for old people anyway. You 75. You've earned the right. Shit, I'm, if I was 75, I'd do coke, heroin, everything. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> he speaks like when he will be 75 years old, he will use different types of drugs, heroin, coke, and another. And uh, he will not, 
he wouldn't think that this is kind of something bad. I've been walking down the street, they'd be like, boy, that old man is tripping. <laughs> <laughs> like a Michael Jackson. <laughs> Can't do everything. Maybe weed. If you're gonna do something, do a little weed. Smokes. Weed. Weed's not as bad as everything else. By the way, in Russia, all types of drugs are illegal. Even weed. Everything. Like uh, even you smoke something inside of your cigarette uh, that are not really. Yes, you can smoke tobacco, self-made, but you can smoke something, something else. It is illegal. By the way, I I wasn't smoking and I didn't use drugs uh, for all my life, but I was in a room two times when someone smoked first first thing it was on my dormitory on 11th floor yes i appeared at this room and they were doing some of the cube cube of something i don't know what is it and they were doing it and uh, second time it was in saint petersburg i was uh, 22 years old and at uh, this time i was uh, with the girls and one man and they were smoking Mary Jane and but I wasn't smoking I only smelled some of uh, smell of it but uh, in St. Petersburg so big amount of people uh, are doing drugs but I didn't do this and I don't want to okay sweet is a background substance <laughs> I mean you can smoke some herb and still function you ain't crisp. Crisp? But you'll function. Ah, like uh, you are not so conscious, but you, uh, you'll function. Okay, crisp. What is crisp? Crisp, uh, readable, precise, legible, conscious, neat. Maybe it means this. Yes? Crisp. A sort of firm, dry and brittle, especially in a way considered pleasing or attractive. Maybe need to find meaning in another crisp meaning. Maybe we have another adjective. Of the weather, cool, fresh and invigorating. Maybe. Maybe yes. Okay, like you are like a watermelon fresh if you are not doing drugs. Nothing higher than weed though. I made that mistake one time. I, I was at a party, some guy gave me some shit. He's like, here, man, take this. It's fucking mushrooms. Mushrooms. I like your <laughs> It's a Me Mario. It's a Me Mario Mushrooms. <laughs> I took it. I forgot all about it, you know. Then a couple days later, I found that shit in my pocket. I'm thinking, why not? Because I'm thinking it's like weed. Some background shit. I planned my whole day out like it was weed. <laughs> chew this shit up, then I'll go to the barber shop, get my hair cut, and then I'll see a movie. <laughs> I chewed it up. So far, so good. So far, so good. Nice phrase, really. A amazing phrase. I like it. Then I was in a barber shop, like an hour later. And it's funny, because I was just thinking to myself, I was like, ooh, this stuff sucks. <laughs> Tastes like athlete's foot. Athlete's foot? What? <laughs> I feel sick, but I'm not really high. <laughs> then I look. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, it is so fun to watch it. <laughs> Looked in the mirror. <laughs> I saw the barber's reflection, man. Barber's <laughs> reflection. It looked like. It looked like a big penis was cutting my hair. I freaked out. I started talking to myself, Dave, calm down. You're on drugs. This is what drugs do. Can you know that there is no way 
<laughs> I want to write a book about drugs. Need to take this idea, drugs. Dave Chappelle gives me so many of ideas to do. In previous video, I wanted to be a president. Here, I want to write a book about drugs. Drugs, I want to write a book. Okay, I will write a book about drugs. Okay. Better penis can cut hair. <laughs> But I started freaking out, man. I just couldn't take it anymore. I jumped out the chair, half my hair was cut. I didn't care. I didn't. I just gave a bob a handful of money. It was weird. The balls opened up. Anyway, I <laughs> I ran home, man. I ran home as fast as I could. It's tripping, It's tripping. I was tripping. What tripping means? Tripping it is when you are with uh, this kind of uh, illusion society around you. Yes, tripping. Catch one's foot on something, stumble or fall. Activate mechanism, especially by contact the switch. Walk, run, or dance with quick, light steps. Tripping. I think because maybe trip. Trip. Catch one's foot. Walk. No. Tripping. Urban dictionary. Freak out. Acting crazy or funny. Freak out. Wow. Okay. Oh, where's yours? Look at the clock. It was two forty-two. I was like, damn. Two forty-two. Damn. I gotta sober up. I've never been this high this early. I took a shower. I was still high. I said maybe music will do the trick. I listened to every CD I had. I was still high. Exercise. That's what I'll do. I ran around the block four times. Still high. Took a nap. Woke up. Fucked up. Fucked up? What does it mean? Fucked up means fuck up. It is when you are when you lose something. Yes, fuck up. Fuck up. Spoil the the territory. I think that it is shit on oneself, shit one's pants, or bump into, bank against. Wow, so big amount of uh, meanings. Mar. <laughs> Corrupt. Okay. I looked at the clock. It was two forty-three. I said, "God, dang!" Two forty-three. Nice, interesting, really funny, really hilarious. I want to say that it is uh, goddamn good. Right now, it is my almost favorite uh, comedian. Bill Burr is nice. Dave Chappelle is nice. Yes, and uh, Patricia Neal sometimes uh, jokes uh, with. Uh, Nice thing. Yes, George Carlin right now for me not really with the same weight because I don't love a lot of George Carlin because I, I have this the same things of my mind with like George Carlin. I think the same way I I like to speak truth, truthfulness of our life. And uh, it mean George Carlin for me is nice philosopher, not like a super comedian. I don't want to say that George Carlin sucks. I mean that uh, George Carlin is a good man, but he's more like a philosophical man with charismatic way to say it. Yes, but it is funny. What I found right now, it is funny. And uh, again, about because uh, I have many viewers who like uh, who like George Carlin. George Carlin is good. It is the first comedian that I have ever saw, and uh, I've ever seen in even in Russia and uh, like from foreign car countries and uh, about Dave Chappelle right now it is uh, funnier because I started to understand his speech his way of speaking his uh, things maybe he has uh, his own book on Dave Chappelle book maybe he has book Dave Chappelle searching for Dave Chappelle kind of yes maybe he has his own book. Oh, no. Nope. It is uh, Jason Zinnemann. Jason Zinnemann wrote it. But does he have... Maybe here? This? Pimp. The story of my life. Iceberg. Nope. The comedy. Dave Chappelle. Maybe here? Critical Asses. What is it? Da -da 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 -da. 
A.K.A. Wyshewski. Okay, I need to read, uh, because in Russia we don't have comedian books. We, I, I, I have only one book, I know one book of uh, American comedian, it is about George Carlin. I've read it in 2016 when I was not learning English. And uh, it was kind of good funny. And here is... Oh, Jesus, sounds of another things. I have misphonia, misophonia. And uh, here's, uh, here's a good, here's a good stand-up. Thank you for him a lot. Thank you for these uh, funny things. And let's read a bit of comments. Let's not ignore this man just hit the dirtiest moonwalk ever out of nowhere for one second. <laughs> okay, he was so high that he went for a haircut without having hair. You nailed it, man. Next. Uh, if your landlord hooked on correct, that means you've got to have the rent. I don't understand it. What does it mean? His inner voice is a white dude named Chad. Chad. I don't know what that mean. Okay. Thank you a lot for watching. For everybody who's watching. You are a nice guy. Always improve yourself. Uh, make fun of things. And have fun every day of your life. And don't forget to be a person. Like a uh, human. Don't forget about it. Have uh, human rights. Don't judge another people. And uh, do your own style things. Okay. Thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. You're a cool guy. Bye.